three times floored and the bout's over. And the count will continue from there and is floored at the bell. Carter in the white trunks, Griffith in the black trunks. Griffith, the well away champion whose title is not at stake, facing probably the hardest hitter he has ever faced in Reuben Hurricane Carter. Carter features the left hook. His right is pretty good and it's quick. He has no jab that we have seen so far. Griffith has all the equipment. A jab, short and long punches, good hooks, good right crosses, good defensive moves. Carter has a tendency to miss over the head with his left hand. It's about under the auspices of the charitable Dapper Dan Club of Pittsburgh. Griffith facing a middleweight has won seven of his nine bouts with middleweight. He lost to Randy Sandy early in his career and to Denny Moyer, whom he defeated twice. Boys trading good leather here in round one. The winner of this fight could very well challenge for the middleweight title now held by Joey Giardello. You probably noticed that uh, down from a left hook. He's got to take the man at four, six, seven, eight. He just about beat the count. He just about beat it. And we have more than a minute to go on the ground. Carter is on him. And it goes with this down again. One minute to go in round one. Seven, eight. And he just about beat the count again. And the referee is coming to the ball. It's a big victory. The victory for Ruben Hurricane Carter. Something Jordan stops the bout. After Griffith had been floored twice by solid left hook. That is the first time that Griffith has ever been stopped. It is the biggest victory in the career of Reuben Hurricane Carter. He was fighting the welterweight champion whose title was not at stake. A left hook sent Emil on the way to Dreamland, and he never quite recovered from it. <laughs> 